So everyone is talking about the Olympics opening. That's what the big talk is. Hot mess, hot mess, hot mess. Um, you have the LGBTQ AI community mocking the Last Supper or mocking the picture painted by Leonardo da Vinci of what he thought the Last Supper may have looked like or may have you know taken place and a lot of people are in uh, in uproar a lot of people are mad and a lot of people are talking about it it kind of reminds me of the Commonwealth Games in 2022 where they had that big mechanical bull and it looked like they were just worshiping the bull kind of reminded you what uh, it may have looked like in the desert when the Most High uh, freed the slaves from Egypt and led them in the desert and they made that golden calf. That's what it reminded you of. But we're going to talk about it because y'all know I got to go fetch my articles, right? So I'll be right back. I can tell that they all scared of revolution. They ain't even trying to find out a resolution. I'm talking heal the body, free the mind, evolution. They don't really understand, man. They never do it. They acting all stupid. All yeah, so it's your girl, B. Sparrow, Best Sweet Talk Radio. And we're talking about the Olympics. The opening in Paris here in 2024. <sighs> so, as I, as I mentioned before, you have the Olympics opening where drag queens mocked, so to speak, the Last Supper, and people are outraged. At least the painting from Leonardo da Vinci. How would you say his name? Da Vinci? Da Vinci. A parody of Leonardo's Da Vinci, The Last Supper, composed of drag queens during the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics on Friday sparked an uproar from some U.S. religious and conservative leaders and right-wing pundits echoing protests in recent years against drag performances. Late into the opening ceremony of the Paris Summer Olympics Friday night, Cameras cut to a long table overlooking the Sion River. How do you pronounce it? I wonder how do you pronounce that. Uh, let me see if I can find the pronunciation right quick. If I can't find it without leaving the Arca, which I can't. Let me see. Wait a minute. I can't. I would have the, the volume down, right? So let me see if I can do that again. Hold on. Sion River. Sion. Sane River. Sane River. Okay, so late into the opening ceremony of the Paris Summer Olympics Friday night, cameras cut to a long table overlooking the Sane River filled with drag stars, drag queen stars, Made to resemble Jesus and the Twelve Apostles the night before his crucifixion in Da Vinci's fresh gold masterpiece, The Last Supper. Right wing pundits and some lawmakers took to social media shortly after questioning why the scene was included in the opening ceremony, with former CNN host Piers Morgan posting, Would they have mocked any other religion like this? Appalling decision. Donald Trump Jr reposted a photo of the depiction saying they're not even pretending anymore. While billionaire SpaceX Tesla and ex-owner Elon Musk called the parody extremely disrespectful to Christians in a post on social media platform, on his social media platform. On Saturday, House Speaker Mike Johnson, who's a representative from Louisiana, blasted the scene, calling it shocking and insulting to Christian 
people around the world. Former Trump attorney Gina Ellis also criticized the move as vert pagan and satanic symbolism. Huh. And Kansas City Chief Kicker Harrison Buckner, Bucker, who sparked controversy by suggesting women should focus on being mothers, called the parody crazy in its in a uh, story on Instagram. Some Christian bishops also bemoaned the parody. Minnesota Bishop Robert Barron, a prominent U.S. Catholic leader, called it a gross mockery and emblematic of a deeply secularist postmodern society. While Wisconsin-based Bishop Donna Hyen slammed it as blasphemy, and Texas-based Bishop Daniel Flores posted, the agenda just used just used the, what? The agendas just use the athletes. They deserve more respect. So the people of Christian faith. So y'all get the the point. It's, it's just people are outraged. My thing is, like I said, now this is a, a painting by Leonardo da Vinci that they are actually mock, mocking. Whether they are mocking, well, what do you think? You think they're mocking the... the I don't know what to think about this. I really don't because new there's evidence to show that first of all Jesus wasn't his name. Secondly, he wasn't white. So in reality they ain't So in reality, they're not. Right. So they then, seem like think they are. They're just trying to make the alphabet make you feel like you know, make you accept it. You think that's what it was? Yeah. So with that being said, though, you know now, Paris is in the dark. It was more like. They pushing for the alphabet rather than going against the last supper. Mm. That's so good. That's a yeah. way of putting it. But now that that's been said, um, the reason why people think that it's a mockery, no, not the reason why people think it's a mockery. Paris is in the dark right now, and people say the reason why is because of that. That mo- mockery of the Leonardo da Vinci painting. The 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris is in the books. And while the first day of competition was great, heavy storms battered the city of lights. And it got so bad that overnight the power appears to have gone out in large portions of the city. We're going to come back. Well, that's that. Where that word coincidence got made And up people from. are saying, people yeah. are asking, is it a coincidence? We're going to come back and talk about it. I got to take a quick break. Just a little quick break. I'm going to, you know, sip some water right quick. And uh, I'll be right back. What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow on Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. So around midnight, reports started circulating that the city of lights had gone dark. While the reports and the cause of any blackouts have not yet been confirmed, some videos are floating around social media of what sure looks like a city in the midst of a major power outage. Coincidence, huh? Of course... People immediately made a connection to the impeccably time apparent power outage in the opening ceremony, which happened about 36 hours earlier, and featured what sure looked like looked to what looked like to most people like a clear-cut mockery of the Last Supper. Now that could be so. This is 